quick video guys new uh, couple series a uh, couple videos in the series are gonna happen here uh, been talking about painting this big old big job for a long time now and due to budgetary reasons I can't afford it um, not good been suggested by a few guys well why not leave it original maybe go the rat rod look so let's see what I can do um, let's start off here I'm gonna show you this side first here's an example someone has already sanded this truck down real good with a DA. Uh, there's no high spots, no low spots. You can see it's completely flat. I just washed it, let it dry out here in the sun. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what I've been up to. This video is going to be short, but I'll show you. One second. Here's the other side. Here's the other fender. Big difference. The truck pretty much changed color as soon as I hit it with clear. It went from a pink, which is kind of what it looks like now, to a bright red. So. Again, here's before, before, and I will explain how I'm doing this in my next video, guys, so save the thumbs downs, I promise. Unwet sanded, unwet sanded, unwet sanded, un oh, wet sanded. So let's look at it again. Here's clear coat, laid down very evenly in three coats before wet sand, before wet sand, after. So this is going to give this truck a very good uh, overall appearance when it's done, so Stay tuned for the updates, guys. You can kind of see here the progress. There it is. So anyone that's been following this truck, which is a few of you, hopefully you all can appreciate a affordable paint job on this thing without spraying it down in red rust-oleum and taking away from the original look. I think it's going to look pretty freaking badass uh, when the paint is this perfect all over it, nice and flat, shiny. Uh, but still kind of maintain that like, you know, rat rod, you know, sanded down look. So, all right, guys, later. Okay, one final look at the fender here. Fast forwarded about 15 minutes and uh, finished up just a lower rounded area of this fender to see if I needed to up my grit or, uh, re yeah, up my grit on my sandpaper to get any more shine out of it. I think that's about as good as it's going to be by hand. There you are. So, step back. And there's your uh, finished rat rod result with clear underneath it. There's your good old grill. Better finish than something than what's on that grill over there. So, only got the rest of the truck to do, but it's a labor of love, guys, so we'll uh, do it little by little. Yeah, that came out good. I can see the clouds, strong reflection, much better than that. <laughs> yeah, if I left it like that, the paint would just continue to fall off of it and rust apart. This, at least I can preserve it for another year or two. Remember, that's not wet sanded, only right here, only this side right here. So, in my attempt to make a quick video, I've still managed to make it <laughs> longer than it should be. But yeah, guys, achieve that rat rod look at home with just some spray paint, some elbow grease. I'm not using any air tools. This is all by hand. So, all right, guys, later.